to Matrim and Xenox here once again for all of the action. Quick, quick, back into the game here for match two of Bottom 16, week two, presented by Alienware and Toomey. After a good start, is game home, FaZe, Ghibli, all cracking double digits from match number one. On the flip side, though, Matt, Unique, TSM, Fury, all still on a donut. Yeah, I mean, only six games. It feels like every single one of them is just absolutely vital. And the pressure mounts. We've done, we've, we've told you guys a ton of times how this is going to go. You got to have good positioning. You have to have a good score in this to give you a good chance in the last week. So that way you can have a better chance to make it in the grand final. Now, getting a little bit friendlier of a plane path, you don't have any excuses this time. You've got to try to figure out some way to at least get something. If the circle doesn't favor you, at least get some kills, man. Yeah, I think that was probably one thing that was a little lacking in the last game, though, was the inability for teams to find those kills from, say, the edge of the circle. The teams that actually did get that center position, uh, they also were getting the kills as well. Your phase, your Ghiblis, even your game homes as well, right? The top three teams all had position, but also all got the kills. There was no team that was, like, say, on the edge of the circle, coming in late, picking up kills, and, and just sort of farming the edge, where maybe I thought it was going to be, like, Gen G, for instance, but yet they couldn't find that at all. Yeah, I mean, a couple of teams realizing the capabilities inside of this. I wouldn't be surprised again, since it's the first game, a lot of teams were showing a touch of hesitation wanting to take firefights early, not wanting to say, okay, we're just kind of screwed here. We just need to go for kills, saying, no, okay, maybe we can navigate this. Maybe we can make it in the late game. That's the nature of the beast and the pressure that this type of mode with just six games kind of creates around it. It, it done one two split where the other two members are in a strong point inside of Chumasero. The other one's not making it down the hillside. Faze says, hey, guess what, game on? We've decided that we want this compound. Macmoo has to play this pretty carefully now, going around the outside of it, seeing if maybe he can flank in back behind what's happening at the time. The rest of game home, at least one of the members now sending in and seeing if they can get a little bit of reinforcements into it. Macmoo just walks into this one. It's going to be support coming in from multiple angles. Game home managing to stabilize inside of this, and now Faze down to just two members, hoping the grenade is going to connect, and it does oh. in a big way. Repeat of match one's finale here in the mid game of match two. The nades from Faze have been impeccable. Game home, now starting to succumb to the pressure. Can they get the revival onto Fails Face though? That's the big one for me, rather than even getting the Annihilation onto Game Home. You need Fuzz Face for the long run. 3007 does go out, so it's not an Annihilation because Lambu does get the final kill from Ghibli. Get Fuzz Face back up. Three kills for FaZe. Not a awful position, especially if they get a Northern Shift. I mean, E36 is just on full-on damage control right now. Fortunately for them, the Hillside does negate FaZe's vision on what's going on. It's really just Ghibli they have to be concerned with. And FaZe could have been in this exact same position, but with three players. They could have actually just cleaned up Antiforce, Ghibli, and maybe a Doozy. I mean, a Doozy, this is such a big risk. You can all see it on the map, by the way. Look at where the rest of Unique is, and then look at how far a Doozy's pushed over to this fight. If he gets knocked, he's dead. He's basically got one health state. Archangel Predator, by the way, have no health states. They've gone. Kaijin whacks them times? out. They're actually having a, a solid night tonight. How many times has Indigo been res there? I want to say it feels like four at that point finally getting flushed out um I, kudos to i'm for managing to stay alive through all of the catastrophe that's happening around here it looks like ghibli who had a similar idea to e36 is having similar results as to what happened to e36 two members now down and i mean we'll have to see how the grenades connect on top of it but i mean phase clan just trying to hold this keep in mind the circle has shifted away from here much stronger into tsm's favor so if teams want to farm kills here they can but they should also know the mm. fact that they're gonna have to move for the circle in just a moment the one benefit for FaZe throughout this entire um, process as well is that no teams have been really close to push on them and to third party from behind them. Again, reinforcing that. Imagine had they kept FuzzFace up with Aitzi and Gustav as well and not down to that compound. They would have been sitting pretty. They would have had probably more kills. They would have then been able to push into the next circle and be able to compete. Ghibli actually with all four pushing out, like FaZe can actually get all four kills, maybe even make it five. Abonai actually steals two away from FaZe Clan, but they are just absolutely farming kills right now. Abonai will go I'll down to the, the blue. Eight teams remain just like that in the blink of an eye. I mean, Amino making a man play there, to say the least. Finding a way to survive, picking up a couple of kills before he goes down. Sonic's now needing to make the push into battle this entire game. 
they, they've just kept to themselves. They're, they're constantly moving. They lost Shrimzy for basically nothing. But Hwin, as soon as he opens up with God Ace, it's, it's actually God Ace who kind of won that little exchange nade over the wall. And obviously, with Vietnam United, they've got the numbers here. FaZe, though, will be pushing in. What a nade onto Hwin. He's down. Mai might be following him here shortly. Low on health. Young B will confirm this. And so far, all too easy. But here comes FaZe, the duo of Aitzi and Gustav, rock up to the compound. And they both just catch a member of Vietnam United each. Suddenly, Baonam down to two. FaZe have just pushed in and opened this right up, giving even Sonics a chance. I'm pretty sure this is like a two versus two versus two. I mean, FaZe is just a roaming beast right now, seeing if they can get any kills. Baonam's last member in Zest, looking to see if maybe he can take down one of the Sonics members on low life. Has to step away from it, does get spotted out, and he's going to go down. It's going to go over to FaZe, so that pushes them up to 11 kills. What? Sonics with no option how to approach this one, and now FaZe finds himself in control of the West out of everything that happened and feeling pretty good now in first place overall. Wait, T has Tickleton mollied Mime again for like the second time at PGC? He's done that twice now. He's, he's done it again. Look, I mean, at that point, they were they were basically out anyway. Let's be real. They weren't moving it forward, but I do find that quite comical. It's the second time that Tickleton has burned Mime alive. Sometimes you do it just to make sure that you're not feeding the points over. I think in some cases, it's also just about making sure you know who's in charge. You know, you just got to drop the Molotov <laughs> on your teammates and just say, look, we're going where I go. Otherwise, you're going down. I mean, we've all had a teammate like that whenever we play PUBG, right? Uh, yeah, maybe. maybe. Maybe he just likes throwing mollies at mine. I'm not sure. As we see I mean, FaZe now pushing onto Pretty Unique. The, the, this, though, match where now only having the two players is really going to come back to bite them. Sure, it's been a good game. They've got a lot of kills, but they really should have had Faz face here as well. Yeah, uh, eight, I mean, they've been doing a good job on taking a bad situation and finding a way to rectify it. I mean, 11 kills, nothing to be laughing at by any form of fashion. Doozy getting a good angle onto Insight is furious, having to be a little bit careful, but I think Insight should be able to get away from Unique's positioning. Um, this is kind of leading into a, a lot of awkward little skirmishes around the north where TSM has just been hearing everything that's going on. To the south, though, I do want to remind you guys that we have 17 that is moving in. Oath also that's holding down the east right now is every, all of the action has been going on in the north of the circle. It's where so many of our teams are stacked up and where everybody has to make their move into the safe zone. Yeah, and therefore we haven't really been able to see a whole lot of the south side either. We haven't seen much of TSM. They've just stayed in this compound. The question is though, do they move out now? As soon as Fury and Unique fight, TSM need to get some intel and push onto this. Move Haltlessly gets himself a little bit of an angle, but a doozy does go down inside of the exchange. Molotov's coming down to slow down the action a little bit more. Provide some a little bit of a break in what's happening right now. Faultlessly wants to step through it, but has to be careful. TSM getting a little bit of vision on this firefight, now making it a lot more problematic for Fury. As Fury does manage to take down Unique, but they have to be super cautious. You can see TSM up in that high ground, very aware of where Fury is, and they have to navigate this, trying to use that cliff sides to some type of defensive advantage. Yeah, rough from Unique, and so far the first two games will have them in the bottom 16th position. Not where they would obviously want to find themselves at the conclusion of tonight. Um, you may It may look like TSM is last, but of course they've got placement points to get, Matt. So they'll they'll rise up, and I think that you know with four players up, they should be capable of honestly winning this game from this kind of position as well. Well, they haven't had anybody really come around them. All the fights have been going on all the external yep. areas, and they haven't had good vision on what's going on. Finally, it's going to be Fury that's coming up to try to contend. And oh, oh, oh like it, Kamukal starts it off with a quick knock. But on the other side of it, Alo is going to go ahead and get flushed out by his own nade. That drops him down. But Pinta gets the knock onto Insight. So a little bit of an evened out fight here as it is two members still trying to push up from Fury. But this is going to be a rough angle to work with. Circle does favor this position. So fight becomes even more pivotal right now. Grenades rolling down very close to Fury's position. They have to be cautious. Yeah, and I was about to say as well for Fury. I mean, as they are kind of losing this fight, not to be too surprised either, but there weren't really any teams that were going to be able to push in behind them. At most, the duo of FaZe would be able to get an angle. Luke 12 just finishes off his fellow Australians. And good game, though, for Fury. Nevertheless, now up to fourth place, 11 hey. points from two games. That's a pass mark. Hey. Luke's gone, so is Purdy. FaZe, duo hey, of Aitzi, hey, and Gustav just continue to push forward, farming up the lobby. 13 kills now, and they've been a duo for like half of it. What fight do they not want to be a part of? Oath now coming into here, and guess what? I don't, sure, Oath, you got it. And FaZe knows exactly where Oath is, throwing the ball on top, see if they can get a little bit of time with it. 17, going to use this opportunity to go for a different positional and get a little bit more of an idea on how this is going to go. All the other fighters all stacked up on top of each other, so this is just a big, big benefit for 17 Gaming. 
Yeah, uh, massive for them. They'll win the game. They'll get the chicken dinner. No kills, though. Is there a possibility they might be able to win this with no kills if, you know, whoever from here, FaZe and or Oz, that? just basically oh, died of the blow? I don't think it's going to be FaZe at this point. And you know what? At this point, I'd almost back in. 18 good stuff to just win it all. Rallo and Kickstart do not know what is ahead of them. It's like a steam train. Gustav even gets a knock on the Lil Ghost. He wants more. They want more than just Oath. Bring on 17. The duo for FaZe just can't be stopped. Anything that moves right now is a potential option for FaZe Clan to shoot at as Relo is going to realize What's that. What is going on? Now, it's just Kickstart. He's all by his lonesome up here, and he's got to figure out what he wants to do with everything that's going down with FaZe. You can see they're still repositioning through this one. They're just seeing if maybe they can just run right up into this. This is the amount of confidence that we see FaZe rolling with. Going to go ahead and throw it up there. I don't even know. Are they going to be able to line up? So they should be able to spot it out. They know exactly where the race is going to be happening. No! Gustav falls from the side, but 18 goes down. Oh, no! L catastrophe now striking. He, they've quite literally slipped at the final hurdle. Gustav, if he doesn't fall there, at the very least, Trades gets the revive, and then they get second place. Now he's just a solo, losing. He's partnering crime. It didn't matter, though. He finds an angle. He finds the kill on to kickstart. It is now a 4 Versus one. What a performance from FaZe Clan. I, mean, I, sh I shouldn't even say FaZe Clan. I should just say 18 good stuff. He gets another. He's got double digit kills. 10 of 18. One versus three. Xiao Bei watches the angle and finally shuts down FaZe. It is quite literally a one kill win. <laughs> I am utterly astounded. What a by game. That game. Like, I want to know who in this lobby attacked some <laughs> dog of FaZe Clan's members. Because they are coming in full on John Wick, murdering everything. They have not a care in the world. They were like, I hear a firefight. Let's freaking go. And man, big numbers. Uh, Sunset Gaming. Great. Good performance. You got a kill. You got the game. But FaZe are the things to talk about there. Matt, have you ever seen a one kill win? I, I don't think I've ever seen a one kill win. I have seen the zero kill win before. It has happened. I mean, oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, 